To continue with our story idea, today we are doing a story called The Watch. It's a lesson in respecting others' belongings. It's written by Wilma Clark Irwin, illustrated by Brian K. Lambert. This was written in 1994, and it was dedicated to the children enrolled in the Lewis County Migrant Education Program. Uh, Jackie Adams and Luella King uh, were the workers then. James was eight years old and lived with his mom and dad. James's grandfather on his dad's side lived with them too, since Grandma died. They had moved about 20 times during the eight years because dad was a migrant worker. They moved to where the work was. Grandpa Clifford's also was a migrant worker before he became too old to work in the fields. Sometimes James's dad would work in the logwoods or at a sawmill when there was no tobacco work to be done. James loved to sit on Grandpa's lap and hear the stories about all the places Grandpa had lived and worked. He would rock James and tell story after story. He would tell about Newberry, Tennessee, Mason County, Kentucky, the coal and tobacco area of West Virginia, and friends he'd known for short times at different places. Grandpa would tell James how he wanted him to study hard and to be able to get a different kind of job one where a body could put down roots. One of James' favorite things was the pocket watch Grandpa had in his overall pocket. The watch had a long leather chain, and the front of the watch opened. On the opened face was a picture of Grandpa and Grandma when they were young. Grandpa always smiled when he talked about Grandma. He said he really missed her a lot. Grandpa had bought the watch before he married. He saved the money from the 44 tobacco crop when he was still living with his mom and dad. He had met Grandma that year when they went south to work. They had their picture taken at the Georgia Peach County Fair. He put the picture in the watch, and it had been there ever since. Grandpa would put James on his lap and rock and rock. It was fun. James loved the stories about when they used horses in the fields or logwoods. Sometimes Grandpa would pull on the big watch and let James look at the time and the picture. Grandpa always talked about the watch being one great treasure he had saved from all the years of work. He also mentioned a special use for it someday. Grandpa never wanted James to play with the watch alone. At night, Grandpa would take the stuff from his pockets and lay them on the dresser top in the living room. He would take out the knife he whittled with and lay it down. He would take out the handkerchief from one back pocket and the old worn billfold from the other pocket. Last, he would take the watch out of the pocket, unhook it from his overalls, look at the time, close the front, and lay it gently down. He then took off his glasses and laid them on the dresser before going to his bedroom. One night, the boy decided to break Grandpa's rule about not bothering the watch. He picked up the watch and took it to his own bedroom. He just meant to hear the tick-tock, tick-tock under his pillow. He really wasn't going to bother the watch. 
For a few minutes, James did listen to the watch. Tick tock, tick tock. He took the watch in his hand and pushed the button to open the face. He closed it. He opened and closed it again and again and again. He laid the watch down and reached to get his teddy bear. Uh-oh. He heard something scrunch under his knee. He was afraid to look. It was the watch. He looked and found the face torn off the watch. He was really sorry and worried because Grandpa was saving that watch for something special. He slipped out to the dresser and put the watch down. He went back to his bed, but he didn't sleep very well. The next morning, he jumped out of bed and ran to the living room. Grandpa was in the rocking chair, the rocking very, very slowly, with a tear running down his cheek. The boy ran to Grandpa before he lost his nerve and talked fast so he wouldn't chicken out. He told Grandpa everything. He was sorry. Grandpa pulled him onto his lap and hugged him. Grandpa said, I forgive you. The boy hugged Grandpa's neck and said, I won't bother other people's things anymore. I've learned my lesson. Grandpa told him that a jeweler could fix the watch as good as new. The little boy said, Grandpa, I'll pick up cans and do errands to earn the money to have it fixed. Grandpa said, Son, I'll have it fixed because I still have a special use for it. I want to give it to a very special young man who has just learned a good lesson. James grinned from ear to ear. He knew he was the boy who had learned to leave other people's things alone. So he figured he was the boy who would get the watch. He hugged Grandpa and said, I love you. Grandpa hugged him back and said, I love you too, James.